they will be working with uh, Unity. Uh, we'll be working with uh, Tile Maps. So uh, if you guys have your Unity Hub open, uh, make sure you click on New. We're making a new project. Uh, make sure it says 2D. And the name of the project, you can just call it um, Tile Map or Tile Maps. Uh, OK. And just click on Create. And then you should get the little loading window, OK? So just let that load. And um, once it finishes, we'll get started. Uh, are we doing 2D still, right? Yeah, we're still doing 2D. Yeah. Probably next week we'll change it. Well, we'll move to 3D, yes? Mm -hmm. Or yeah. sure. later. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, this gives you all the foundation. So. Okay, hey, just type in the chat when you're ready uh, so I know to move on. Okay, um, uh, if you're still loading, that's fine. I just uh, uh, let your thing load. Um, yep. If yours is done loading, uh, can you, I posted a link on the chat. Uh, click on that link. It should go to a folder, and then just download everything in that folder. Um, you have to download. Uh, oops, I don't. We don't need one of the scripts, uh, but that's fine. You can just download uh, the folder called Tile Maps, and then the three. Um, the three uh, files that are there, the CS files. Those are uh, C Sharp scripts. Yeah, just make sure you download them. Um, yeah, once you download them, just drag them into your scene, um, and you should have something like this. Um, so if you guys uh, don't know how, you know how to download, uh, you guys can just highlight all of them, right click, and then download. Uh, or you can just download one e each one individually, uh, whichever one is easier for you. So just click on download. So once you have that, and my and mine, uh, because I'm using this uh, software called WinRAR, um, this one doesn't allow you just to drag and drop like this. Uh, so you need to uh, put them in the desktop. So I'm going to drop this one in the desktop. Um, 
once I have them in the desktop, I'm just gonna drag and drop here into my uh, uh, into the folder. Now it should have tile maps and then three scripts. Okay, so your desktop. Uh, I just drag and drop them here in the desktop, and then I like uh, all I did is drag here, drag them inside here, and then it creates a copy of them. And what's wrong with yours? Um, I don't know. Um, the box thing is really small. Mm, what are you talking about, box thing? Um, can I screen share? Sure. Mm. Okay, what's wrong? Um, oh, that means you're you're very zoomed out. Just zoom in with your mouse wheel. Oh, but when I do that, then it just becomes like that. Ah, I see. Um, zoom out again. Until you get the little box. Uh oh. <laughs> That's fine. Um, click on your camera on the left. Like on the left hand camera? side, click on your camera. Yeah, and then uh, just hover over that and just press F. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Okay. F is to focus uh, back to where you are. Okay. 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 Right, just make sure you download the stuff. Okay. Hey, let me know if you guys have any questions with downloading. I'm ready, so it's just the three. Yeah, three. it's just, it's a folder. So if you open up tile maps, it's yeah, a folder. Okay. And then I there know. you have cake, castle, choco, dirt, grass, and so on and so forth. So you have all of them. And then Wait, uh, you oh, have I it was the player movement stuff. It's not that. Yeah, yeah. And, and we also need the player movement stuff. It should be outside the folder. Okay. It should be like on assets. So just like on my screen. You see on my screen, I have tile maps, and then I have the three other scripts. That's how you're. Uh, you think should look like. Um, what can we do with the, 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 the script things? The scripts, you just uh, click and drag them into your, uh, your folder. So um, <clears throat> I assume you have Mac, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so when you download all your stuff on, on the, on, from Google Drive, uh, so once you download them, put them all on the, if you want, you can put them in your documents or in your uh, desktop. Once you have them, just um, just drag and drop them into here. So all you do is just click and drag and just put them in inside uh, Unity okay. uh, on the project folder. Okay. Yeah. If you want to share, if you want to share your screen, I can, sh I can help you. Uh, is it okay if it has, if it looks like a file with a zip on it? A file with what, sorry? A zip, like a zip. Is that okay or no? Sorry, I can't hear you. What was that? Oh, is it okay if it looks like a file with the zip? No, uh, it can't be a zip. But you have to unzip everything. Uh, how do you do that? Where do you? Uh, uh, what do you have? It's a a uh, Mac PC. PC. PC? Oh, yeah. okay. So for a PC, uh, if you have, um, let's see. Okay, so with um, with PC, you have something like this. It has something that's zip, and then you can open it up. So all you do is you click on here, where it says Compress Folder Tools, um, and then Extract All. 
and then uh, this thing will pop up and just extract them to your desktop. Just click on desktop and then extract everything. So select folder and then um, just extract and then you should have all your stuff on your on your desktop. So I should open it and then because when I open the zip, it shows all of them. So would I extract them? Yeah, yeah, you have to extract all of them. Or the easiest thing you can do is you can just click and drag this outside like this, and it automatically extracts it for you. Okay, I might mm -hmm. try that. Yeah, but you can't you can't just extract them into Unity. You have to extract them to another folder, and then from that folder, you copy it into Unity. Unity can't extract stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you want to share sh your screen, that you, uh, I can help you out with that. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to share my screen real quick. Okay. Okay. I think I'm presenting now. Okay. Yeah, I see. I think I see your screen. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I open this. Right? <laughs> yeah. Just double click it. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, and then all that stuff. Um, we just drag drag all of it. Um, yeah. Just click and drag it into your desktop. Yeah. Okay, now go to your desktop. Yeah, and just click and drag all the new folders. No, no don't put them inside or, okay, I guess. Wait, why are you putting everything into sand? <laughs> oh, or am oh. I seeing something wrong? Are you putting everything into new folder? Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. I thought I saw you putting stuff into sand folder. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, but. Nice. No, no, we're not. Don't take out the sheet, damn it. <laughs> and now you have to put the sand sheet back. Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, open that up. No, open up new folder. So the sand folder is now empty. Open up new folder. Yeah. And you see how the sheet the sheet uh, should go under sand. Okay. And okay. Then I can move it in yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. You know you can just highlight all of them and just drag them in there, right? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Now you can drag that new folder into Unity. Yeah. There you go. You got it. Okay. All right, perfect. Yeah, you can delete that now. Yeah, you can delete it. Yep. And then uh, you can delete the, what, what is that? Drive down, something like that? Uh, drive down. It's the first folder. Yeah, you can delete that. You don't, oh. It looks like you already extracted it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's okay. Well, now you have two copies of it. So you can delete one or the other. Yeah, okay. Okay. What about you, what about you Adrian? Do you have it? Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's, uh, let's continue then. Um, 
So uh, now that we have our tile maps and everything in here, uh, the thing, well, first thing we're going to do is first explore what tile maps are. Um, so with tile maps, what happens is um, usually to build a script, uh, a scene, I mean, you have to manually put in uh, your objects and to make your platform. Uh, so don't do this. Just watch my screen. Uh, yeah, you guys are watching my screen. So you guys can, um, can see here if I create, let's just say, a basic square and this becomes your platform, right? So this platform, you have to stretch. Don't do this. You can just watch. This platform looks like this. Um, uh, Parha, Parha, I'm going to mute you. There's a lot of issues in the background. Um, so yeah, so now you have, uh, let's just say, your, your, um, your scene like this, right? But uh, now, if, if you want to... But it said no, something happened. What happened? Nothing. Oh, this happened. What are you trying to do? Now it just stopped. All right. Um. So, like I said, so here we have our um our our um our map, right? Then let's just say you want to make this map, and then you have to color each one. I'll put each one's um you know color. If you want to do it in Photoshop, you can, or in Paint. But then this takes a long time, right? It, but we don't want that. Uh, we have a lot of tools to help us, or we have a tool to help us with that. So to uh, to do this, what we're gonna uh, to help this, I mean, it's we have something called tile maps. And to start with the tile maps, let's take a look at the maps that we have. So just open up your your folder that you dragged all your tile maps from, and inside your folder you should have ten folders. Uh, these ten folders. Uh, have different, uh, they're basically the same maps, but just a uh, different flavor. So um, you can pick whichever one you like. You can open them up and just click on one, and then you should be able to see the um, the sheet. Um, so whatever, uh, whichever one you like, uh, you know, if you like cake or you like purple, um, whichever one you can click, uh, and it's basically going to be the same thing. I'm going to be choosing uh, um, grass. And then um, again, you can choose whatever you want. But for 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 this for mine, you can choose grass, and uh, we're gonna cut this tile sheet up. Okay. So uh, what this tile sheet is, if you uh, if you see what's uh, what this is, uh, it's basically just a PNG. So basically, it doesn't have a background, uh, and this is uh, basically sliced into different uh, different tiles. So different tiles for different parts, um, and you can kind of see if you you know put everything together, then uh, the whole the whole map will start working. So each one, uh, you have to see the properties of each one. Uh, in this case, I didn't make these. Uh, these were downloaded. And uh, the information that comes with it is that each tile map is 70 by 70, 70 pixels uh, you know, uh, with width and height. So uh, that's all the information we need. So knowing that, uh, let's uh, cut up our uh, tile map. So select the tile map that you want, whatever tile map you want. Um, like I said, I'm choosing grass. Uh, and then go up here. Where it says texture type, make sure it says sprite 2D and UI. If it says default, change it to sprite 2D and UI. Uh, and if it tells you to confirm, just confirm it, and then it'll, it'll convert it. Uh, change the sprite mode from single, because this is not a single sprite. This is multiple. Click on multiple. Okay, and then pixels per unit. And we know that each uh, each box is uh, 70 pixels, so we're going to type in 70 right here. Okay. So make sure you guys have multiple and then 70. Okay. Once you have that, um, we're going to click on here, Sprite Editor. So there's a button right here that says Sprite Editor. Click on that. And then it's going to tell you uh, this uh, information is not applied. Just click on Apply. OK. And then you should get this window. Are we okay. supposed to do this right now? Sorry, what was that? Let's do this right now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure okay. you it. Yeah. So I'll give you a couple seconds to catch up. Okay. So like I said, make sure it's 70 and then multiple and uh, two, 2 D UI. Wait, so the TPI is um... Mm -hmm. 
Um, Where did you get that uh, window thing from? Which one? Um, the one showing the, the trash. This one? Yeah. This one, this one, oh. Uh, to get this window, again, all I did is press Sprite Editor. You see how there's a button right here? It says Sprite Editor. So here, I'm just going to click on that, and then this window pops up. Do you see it? Yeah. OK, and then this window pops up. What about you, Parasha? Are you, uh, are you I, good? This is it, right? I just have to have this out by now. Sorry, what was that? I just have to have the Sprite out by now. You didn't do anything after that. No, no, I didn't do anything. I, I just selected what Sprite I wanted. Mm -hmm. and just change it to the correct pixel unit uh, yeah. and then multiple and then that's it and just click the sprite editor and then this window pops up okay okay so we're here we have not anything else no all right um so the next thing is after we have that um we know that each one again we know that it's 70 by 70. so we're going to click on slice okay once you click on slice, I'm going to click on automatic. So it's not going to be automatic uh, because we know exactly how big our um, pixels are. So we're going to click on grid by cell size. OK, so we're going to click on that. Then it's going to tell you pixel size, offset, and padding. So we know the pixel size. The pixel size is 70. Oops, 70 by 70. OK, there's no offset and there's no padding. The pivot should always be the center. And then I'm going to click on slice. Wait, what do we change for the sprite editor again? I can't change the slice for some reason. Um, what do you mean? Uh, I like the slice is grayed out. I can't click on it. Um. Oh, make sure it says multiple on your uh, sprite mode. Okay. Oh, okay. You got it? Yes, it should work. Yes, yeah, it's, it's still grayed out. Still grayed out? Yeah. Um, can you share your screen so I can see? Yeah. Okay. Over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you close that window? Close it. Um, good. Can you press apply on the right, bottom right? Bottom, this is apply. Okay, now click on Sprite Editor. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, you just forgot to apply it. Okay. I guess the new ones don't apply automatically. The old ones do. All right, mm -hmm. so it looks like you're good. Okay, just make sure you change it from automatic. Change it to um, <clears throat> grid cell size. Mm -hmm. And it's 70 by 70. No, nothing, no. So, like I said, uh, just make sure this is cell size. Um, and... Uh, this is, uh, sorry, cell size, and it's 70 by 70. When you click on slice, and then you would see some uh, little white uh, lines around everything. And then if you click on, if you click on one, uh, you, the box would be highlighted. Okay, so that's exactly what we want, okay? Once you have that, just press on the top right, there's a small button that it says apply, just click on apply. Uh, make sure you don't move any of them. If you, move, if you accidentally move one of them, just press Control Z to undo. Um, or whatever key it's to undo, um, and just make sure you you don't move that uh, that box because those boxes are precisely cut, precisely located. Okay. When you're done, just exit. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just make sure you exit. And now here on your grass, if you click your little arrow, now you have all these boxes that are sliced up, and that's that's exactly what we want. Okay. Now that we have that, the next thing we want to do is we want to now start working with our tile map. Uh, we now have to set up a tile map. So here on our um, our scene, we're gonna right click, or we're gonna click this little button, 
um, sorry, let's just right click. And then we're going to click on 2D. And we're going to look for tile map. Okay. So you click on that, and then you get something called a grid. Okay. And when you click on it, there's now a bunch of boxes, a bunch of squares uh, that is now defining where your grid is, um, your tile map grid. So remember, just right click, you, uh, 2D, and we're looking for a tile map. Okay, so once we have that, um, now uh, what we need to do is we now we now need to start editing our uh, our sheet where where we want our. I'm sorry, we will start picking out the boxes and to put in the in, in the tile map. So here we're gonna click on window, and then we're gonna go to 2D, and then click on tile palette. Okay. When you click on Tile Palette, um, this little window pops up. So you can dock this window to the right. So all you need to do is click on the tab, and just dock it to the right here. Okay, and then this this is your new, your new window. Okay. Uh, how did you do that again? Um, this window, this Tile Palette. Uh, yeah. How did you get there? Uh, okay. So to get there. You click on window up here. Um, where? 2D. Uh, where is window? Um, it should be. Oh, are you wearing? Are uh, using a Mac? Uh, Mac, right? Um, yeah. it should be on the menu oh. bar. Yeah. Okay. Um, 2D. And then tile palette. Okay. Okay. Oh. So once once you click that, this little thing pops up. Like I said, all you need to do, do is dock it. So click and drag this near the inspector. So then now this docks next to the inspector. Uh, mine doesn't, oh, uh, mine doesn't do that. Yours doesn't, uh, you can't move the little tab. Oh, never mind. Um, also, how did you get the thing near the bottom, like the sheet? Um, how did you get it there? Uh, the this sheet? Yeah. This one? Um, so this one is supposed to be downloaded. Um, yeah, I downloaded it. Um, where is it supposed to appear? It should be it sh where uh, wherever you download it. You just have to extract it and put it in the in the project. Here, share your screen so I can see what's going on. Uh, um. Is it supposed to be here? Oh, you just downloaded one sheet. Um, that's fine. If yeah, if you want to just use that sheet, um, no, that's fine. I the reason why I put multiple sheets is just in case you want to use different colors or different uh, uh, layouts. You can, but if you just want to use that, that's fine with me. Yeah, that's uh, that's okay. Yeah, that works. Okay. Okay. So let's get back. Okay, so again, we have this tile palette, and now this tile palette, we can start creating our palettes. Um, so the main palettes that we can have are background, foreground, and uh, like miscellaneous objects. Tile palette, uh, tile maps should not be uh, active objects, and what that means is collectibles or uh, enemies. Um, that's a common mistake where people start drawing their enemies in the background because the background does not move. Um, so. You know, having enemies there doesn't make sense. So this is only for things that don't move um, and, and static static objects, OK? So let's start off with creating our new palette. So we're going to click here where it says Create New Palette, OK? And it's going to give us an option. Um, so here, our new palette, let's call this one um, Ground. Ground, OK? And our grid is going to be rectangle, and then our cell size is going to be automatic, OK? And we're going to click on create. OK. Now it's going to give us a, uh, you know, where do you want to save your stuff? Um, so just make sure you, um, so right now I'm on grass. So just click on new folder and just put uh, tile maps. OK. That's the name of your folder. OK. And then just click on select folder. OK. And now all your maps, all your uh, tile maps should now be in that folder. OK. To start your uh, your sprites, 
Um, you can just you can click and drag each one individually. Uh, you know to. Um, oh, it has to be a rectangle, right? Go yeah, ahead. it has to be a rectangle. Yeah. Okay. Or what you can do is you can just dump all this and all this dump everything here, and then uh, Unity can take care of the rest. So uh, I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna click and drag my sheet into here. So you see when I drag it, it's gonna it's gonna show an outline where it's gonna drop everything. So I'm just gonna let it go, and it's it's gonna tell me where do you want, and just select the folder you just did. And then click select folder, and then everything loads, and now you should have this um, this screen. Uh, which folder do you save it into? Uh, you create a new folder called Tile Maps. Oh, uh, the one that I made before. N no, just make a new folder. Okay. Wait, because that that new folder is going to have a bunch of uh, assets in there, and you don't want those assets to. Um, uh, to get mixed with other things that you have on, on your game. Okay. 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 So now that you have this, um, the next thing we want to do is we can start building our, our map. So let's uh, let's talk about all these objects that we have up here, uh, all these tools. So the first one is a move uh, select grid. So you can select stuff in, in the grid uh, to move around. Um, basically, this is your highlighting option. The same thing goes to here. Um, you can select multiple objects. Um, I like selecting individual ones, unless you know exactly how to bunch up all your stuff to the side. Um, OK. So well, Fernando, I can't see my tile maps thing. What was that? To the inspector, I can't see the tile maps thing. Um, OK, did you create a tile map? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Um, and then, okay, hold on. Let me uh, let me help Adrian first. Can you share your screen, Adrian? Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So all I did is just click and drag your sheet. Oops. Yeah, click and drag your sheet to the right. No way. Where is this create new palette? Oh, did you configure your sheet? Oh, click on your sheet. Yeah. No, no, no don't double click it. Uh, just click on it, uh, and then go to inspector, the tab, inspector tab. Mm -hmm. Um, is it fully cut? It looks like it is cut. Uh, click on the uh, click on the little uh, triangle on the sheet. You know where it says sheet? No, no, down here. What? Yeah, click oh. on the little triangle. Yeah, so everything is cut. Okay, that's good. Um, click again on your tile palette. Tile palette. Mhm. Mm and then click on create new palette. Yeah, and then make a new palette and call it background or ground. Okay, and then click on create, mm -hmm. and then um, put it on. Um, just put it on. Uh, can you make a new folder or uh, not? Not there. Here on the on the right one. What? Uh, on the on the third one after after assets, not in there. No, no, go to assets, mm -hmm. and then in there, can you make a new folder? And then call it um, maps, tile maps. <clears throat> okay. Okay, and then click on choose. Yeah. Okay. Now click and drag. No, no, no. Now click and drag. Now go back to your thing. Yeah. Click and drag that sheet. Yeah. No, no, no. no out here, out to the right. Click and drag it to the right. Uh huh. And just let it go. And then click on tile maps again. 
Okay, that's good. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, Parashar, let me see what's yours. Uh, yes. Okay, so I have this, but I don't know what else to do. Mm. When I made it and then I moved into a new folder, it keeps saying that it's empty. Oh, okay. So when um, you don't have your window open, so click on window on the menu bar. And then click on 2D. Mm -hmm. And then tile palette. Mm -hmm. And then dock that. Uh, the, click on the tab. No, no, no. Click on the tab. No. Yeah, Wait, click on like the tab. No, no, the tab. Not the, uh, yeah, uh-huh. Click and dock it next to the inspector. Click and drag it. Uh-huh, good. All right, perfect. And now create a new palette, uh-huh, and then call the new palette ground. Uh-huh, and then create. Okay, and then make a, yeah, just click select folder. Just click select, no, 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 no just click on select folder. We try to down here. <laughs> down here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So now your new uh, your tile maps is ready. So go back up one folder. Uh, go to Tundra. Uh -huh, and then click and drag your sheet to the uh, to the tile map on the right. On the right. And then on the right. On the right. Where you know you see it says yeah. Anyone? Did you drag it? Did you drag your sheet? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Why is it only one? Let go. No, press cancel. Press cancel. Yeah. Uh, click on your sheet. And go to an inspector. No, no, don't double click. Yeah, inspector. Um, yeah. Did you cut it? Did you, uh, click on the. Um... Oh, yeah, you didn't cut it. Did you? Click on slice. Okay, and click on apply on the top right. Top right, yeah. All right, close. Okay, uh, click on the little arrow next to it. No, right there, yeah. Huh? Okay, now it's sliced. Okay, good. Um, okay, now go back to tile palette. Mm -hmm. And then click and drag your sheet there. Yeah, there you go. Now it's a big tile. Just dump it in anywhere. Okay, and then select tile maps as your folder. Okay, and just let it load, and it's gonna. Okay. It's doing all your assets. Okay, and then uh, you're basically catched up already. All right. Um, okay, so let's go back to my presentation. Um, okay, so like I said, you you will have something similar to what I have. Um, if yours is a little bit different, don't uh, don't uh, don't get scared. Uh, okay, so again, uh, like I said, we're going through all the options that we have here, the tools. So the first one is selecting. The second one is moving. So if I uh, if I have something and I want to move uh, that object, uh, I can move it uh, on the tile map only. Um, so we'll get to that when we start uh, making our stuff here. Um, uh, here, if you want to move something on, on the tile map, uh, let's just say you don't you don't like the position of this stuff, just click on tile map. Uh, sorry, just click on edit right here. There's a small button, edit, and then you can uh, click and then drag your. Oh, you can't. Sorry, oh, you can only delete. You can't edit. Uh, you can't move these. Never mind. I'm sorry. You can only delete the uh, when you click on edit. Um, yeah, so the moving only, uh, it only works when you have an active, uh, when you have a tile map here and you want to move some stuff around. Painting is the biggest one we're going to use. Painting is just basically uh, putting the tile map on. So, for example, if I select, um, you know, my top, um, this one, right? If I click and drag on my paint, now it starts painting my my tile map, okay? Um yeah, that's that's that. And then here, uh, this one is my uh, paint fill box. 
So here, if I click and drag, it's going to paint this, uh, this is a whole box, box full of the same one. Um, uh, this one is a marquee. So if you want a certain box, uh, it, it, it just basically, it's like a stamp tool. You just grab it and it picks the pattern and then you can stamp it anywhere you want. Uh, the erase tool, uh, it's the same thing. You just uh, an eraser and erases to what, what you have. Uh, if you want to erase something in your palette, just click on edit and you can delete the stuff. I don't suggest you do it, deleting this one right now. Uh, and then paint tool. Uh, so once you have a selected object, it's going to paint, uh, you know, what, where, where you, where you want. Um, so we're just going to select, we're going to stick with uh, our, uh, select, uh, a paint, a paintbrush. Okay. So now, uh, so here, let's uh, let's start painting our basic uh, map. So yours is going to be a little bit challenging. Um, you have to look for the correct one. This artist uh, like to round their objects, um, and uh, the reason why you round your object is because that's the edge. So for example, like this one won't be uh, on the sides uh, connected. It's only going to be connected to the bottom. But this one, uh, I just found this one out, and this one has this, uh, the edges cut. So that means once you put it on, uh, it's going to look seamless, right? Opposing to this, where if I draw this, you see how this one has a weird dip, and this one is just a straight one. So uh, just make sure you select the right one. Um, OK, so I can select that. And um, if I want to click on my edge, I want to make an edge, uh, select this one. Uh, I can make something like this, and then my other edge, something like this. Um, this, I'll make like that, and then I have to fill in the other stuff. Yeah, so this, uh, like I said, this artist uh, just put everything in here, uh, so it's going to a little bit hard to find all the, the correct parts. Um, and then the middle part. Here, here. Okay. And then there you go. Okay, so then uh, we have our time map. And the whole the whole point of this is uh, to uh, you know create your own uh, your own style of map without uh, Without uh, creating, or without you know doing your uh, doing yourself like each block, uh, uh, doing each each block uh, manually. Okay, and then if you want to move something, of course you just click on the move tool and just say like, oh, this is too, uh, you know, this is too uh, too big. You just click on the uh, the select tool. You select all your objects. Uh, like here, and it's your move tool, and then you're able to move your your things here. Okay. Uh, another handy uh, thing that is not on this Unity version is the uh, what is it called? Uh, the rules. Um, the rules was a handy feature. I think it was. Yeah, it's not. It's not on this versions. You can you can still download it. I'll, I'll, we'll 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 work on it too. Uh, is you can download it and you can put rules. So basically, wherever you go with your paintbrush, it's going to automatically draw and then undraw things uh, according to the rules you put. So let's just say if the rules say uh, if this tile map is in the top corner, then it's going to be the top corner one, and you specify which one is the top corner and uh, so on and so forth. And then uh, Unity is able to uh, you know work with uh, all those rules. Um, again, we'll we'll take a look at it uh, in uh, once once uh, we finish uh, working with a tile map. So for this tile map, uh, let's just do a basic uh, kind of level. Uh, I'm just going to draw. Something like this. That's too high. Oops. 
Oops. If you have a hard time like looking for the correct box, but you already made a, a, a small box, you can just uh, click on the little um, eye droplet tool, and you can just select that one, and it's or it's gonna select that tile. So you don't have to go hunting here uh, for that part. It makes it a little bit easier. Uh, should we make a platform too right now? Uh, yeah, just make a very basic uh, platform, um, and something like something like this. We have this where your character can jump, uh, you know, from one point to another. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just something basic. Oh, what can you use the curved ones for? Um, the curved ones, if you want a curved platform. So uh, I was actually going to do something like that. Uh, just give me a moment. So something like this, where you have like a like a flat a platform like this, and uh, that's the that's one way you can use it. <laughs> yeah. Also, like the one. Right next to that one on the on the tile palette. Um, right, yeah. This one? Yeah, this one's I don't well I mean this one looks like it's an edge uh, on the right side. 
So, so maybe something, maybe something like this. Let me see. Um, yeah. So see how this one rounds off on the on the side. That's one way of using it. Yeah, and then what about the ones that have them on both sides, like the ones on both sides on four sides? Like this one, this one has four sides. I actually don't know the purpose of this one. Maybe it's just to display or display, you know, what this block does. Uh, but yeah. this actually, I don't think it has a value to. Uh, yeah, like like the one that's on the top has one to four down and one to the right, like that one. Uh, four down to the right. Which one? The one that you just showed me, four down and one to the right, and that one. Oh, this one? One more left. One more down. This, or this one? One more down. Four more down? Like the this second one? to last. Yeah, that one. That one? Yeah. Like I said, the, these ones, I, I don't I don't have an idea why. Again, I'm not the artist, so I don't know why they included those. Um, yeah. I, okay. Maybe it's just for like a stepped thing. Um, but it doesn't yeah. make sense because uh, I don't know. Like I said, I <laughs> I just downloaded these ones and I'm like, ah, you think this will work? <laughs> um, I mean, you guys can explore different uh, different things. But anyways, this is my this is my little thing. Um, so just just have something basic and uh, that that's fine. Okay. Now uh, to test run your tile map, um, we we can put uh, we can put a small character. Uh, the character we're gonna use is just a basic block. Um, you, you guys can make your own blocks if you want, uh, your own character. Uh, but for this for this class, for this uh, project, we're just gonna make a box. So um, once you, just leave what you have. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna start testing out the map. So just click on assets. We're gonna right click, uh, create, and we're gonna create a uh, sprite, and we're gonna click on square. Once you have your square, um, you can just leave it as square. That's fine. Um, now, be careful with this. Uh, don't just click and drag right now. Use if you click and drag, this is going to be um, used as a tile map. So don't click and drag right now. Uh, you have to get uh, out of the tile map mode. Uh, so what you do is you click back on inspector, and then click back. Uh, just press any of these uh, tools that are up here, or you can just press W. And then once the tiles uh, go away. You have this uh, like normal you know, view. Uh, you can just click and drag your square, and then put it here. Now it's uh, just a regular uh, object. Um, once you have this object there, so you can be you're able to move it. It doesn't snap on the grid. Uh, I'm just gonna make the size so on the scale. I'm just gonna put a two to make it look more uh, you know, human like. Um, I think this should be able to move. No, it's gonna be too tight. I'm gonna move this later. Um, okay, and just to have basic player movement, um, just click on this guy, call it player. Click on add component. We're gonna add a box collider. Make sure it's two D. We're gonna add a rigid body. Make sure it's two D. Um, and then add component, and uh, you're gonna add uh, the player player movement script that we have. The so player movement. Okay, and it's gonna automatically add character controller. Okay, once you have that, this player movement is uh, pre-done. So this is what we were working on last week, um, but this one has more uh, more sensors to it, so it's a it's a little bit better when you jump uh, and fall. So here uh, we do require uh, three things: what is ground, air uh, ground check, ceiling check, and then uh, a check mark for air control. So uh, we want air control. Basically, we want to move in the air. Um, what is ground? Uh, just click on everything, and then ground check and ceiling check. Uh, we need to make that up. So just right click on the player, create empty. Right click on the player again. So you have two empty objects. So they're just called game objects. Call one ground, and the other one ceiling. Okay. And once you have those, um, you can click on this little white box next to the check mark near the name, and then just put an icon, and this, this little thing will pop up. Uh, just on the ground, just put it near his feet and the ceiling, just put it near his head. Uh, once you have that, click on the player and then click and drag your ground into ground check and then ceiling into ceiling check. Okay. Once you have that, yeah. Where do you, well, I can't get the square for screen. You can't get the square? 
I just spray it. Uh, and then. Um, okay, so let me let me answer Parashar's question first. Uh, so you right click here, just create um, sprite and square. Did you do that? On the screen, on the scene? On, on the gray area down here on the folder on the project for us uh, uh, panel. Create and then sprites. Right, and then square. That's it, right? Yeah, and then you don't have to call it anything. And then just make sure you're not on the tile map. So just make sure you click uh, W. If you click W, the little grid will pop off. Uh, yeah. So now you have the normal you know, thing. And you can just click and drag your square into there. Once you have that, just make it um, um, the height 2 or whatever height you want. I'm just going to have it at 2. And then add a box collider, rigid body 2D, uh, and character controller. OK? Uh, rigid, wait, which ones? Rigid body, rigid body and... 2D and box collider 2D. Okay, and that's it? Uh, and also put the character controller. Or player movement script, sorry. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, player movement should automatically, um, should automatically uh, get you uh, a character controller. So there's two scripts that it automatically, or one script, that I guess, it automatically puts in. It says that it's, the script class cannot be found. Player movement? I'm still shooting. Yeah, it still says that. You want to share your screen so I can see? I think I it's still in. Oh, are you? Aha, uh -huh, you are. Let's see. Um, no, scroll down. Uh, just add component and then type in player movement. Mm, you don't have player movement. Why? It shows it here. Oh, click on that one? What is that? Uh, click on the other one? Oh, the other one's platform movement. Why yeah. aren't they... Uh... What's wrong with the script? What was the error that it told you? Oh, uh, sure. Oh, I see your problem. I, I see it. I see it. I see it. Um, your script name. You see how your script name is called player one and then parentheses one? So right click, rename. This one? Yeah, rename. Mm -hmm. um, okay. <laughs> it's not letting you rename. OK, uh, that's fine. Uh, right click on the gray area, uh, show uh, and explore. Click on Show and Explorer. Second one, second one, second one, yeah. Let it load, OK. So just right, right click and rename it from there. Yeah, remove the parentheses one. OK. No space, no space. You have a space on that period, yeah. Oh. There you go. Mm -hmm. And do the same thing for the other one, platform movement, or else it's not going to compile. Uh, no, oh, no, 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 not that one. Yeah, that one. Right click, rename it, and then remove the parentheses. Uh -huh. And then also the same thing with character controller 2D. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, delete your meta, meta files. You don't need your meta files. So the one with parentheses, no, 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 not that one, not that one. Um, the one, the parentheses, the first, uh, yeah, that one. And the other one with parentheses, no, no, yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. And then the first one, yeah, that one, delete it. OK, now go back so to Unity, it should compile. <clears throat> Okay, and now click on your player, player square. Okay, add component and then look for player movement. Mm 
Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So now, um, yeah. So you're on the same page as we are. Uh, so just check mark air control, and then uh, click on uh, what is ground everything. Oh. I don't have to name and, uh, we need ground check and assume check. Okay. So this one is a question from from Adrian. So uh, how to make a um, how do, how do you make a, uh, a ground check and ceiling check, Adrian? Is you right click on player, create on uh, click on create empty, uh, and it should be called a game object. Okay, so do that two times. Uh, um, um, oh. okay. not yeah, make sure it's you right click on player and click on create empty. Oh. Okay. So you do that two times. Once you have that, you should have uh, two things. Um, so you want to rename them. So click on one of them. And then here on the naming, just uh, type in ground. And then change the color of this. So uh, instead of a white box, uh, click on an icon, whatever icon you want. Huh? So right here, next to the check mark, click on it. And then it's an icon. Just click on whichever one. Okay. Uh yeah, I can't rename it for some reason. Uh, you can't rename. Oh, um, make sure you. What do you mean you can't rename? I can't rename the uh, empty. The ground check and. Oh, uh, click on one. Okay, click on yeah. Type. You can't. <laughs> you can't click on it. No. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, try uh, click on um, click on your top right. Click on layout, yeah, and then click on default. Yeah, it should reset your Unity. Okay, now maximize again. Now click on the little arrow next to sample scene, uh -huh. and then click on that, and then rename it. Try to rename it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it should be your ground, and then your yeah, and it's CV. Mm -hmm. Is yours working, Adrian? Um, no. It just keeps on falling through the tile. Okay, do you want to share your screen so I can see? Okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I know it's gonna continue falling. Don't don't worry too much about it yet. <laughs> we have we haven't gotten to that part. Uh, but did you drag and drop your? Oh, you have this in the reverse order. If you what? zoom in, you see how your ceiling is on the floor and then the ground's on the top. Those two are reversed. So click on ground and then drag it down to where ceiling is, and then ceiling should go uh, where yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And then click on your square. No, no. Oh. Okay. Uh, make sure you select the so click on your player, and then here where it says character controller. Um, let's see. Yeah. So where it says character controller, just drag and drop your correct ground and correct the uh, your correct ceiling. Okay. So you just click and drag your ground from here, and then put it into ground. Okay, and then ceiling, drag and drop it into ceiling. Okay. Oh, uh, Fernando. Yeah. How do I edit the tile up now? Um. Uh, hold on. Oh. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Um, oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like somewhere else. Uh, to edit the tile map, uh, because you close your tile palette, click on Window and just click on, again, uh, 2D, and then click on the Tile Palette. I have to make another one? No, no, no. It's just because you closed it. Oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, we closed it because we resetted the whole Unity layout. So if I press W, it, no, what? So if I do no, this no. and then I press W, it, okay, cool. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and now what you need to do is we need to put a collider because if you press play on your game, um, your character is just going to fall because there's no collisions on your game. So to fix that, uh, we need to put collisions on all the uh, all these objects. So click on your tile map here. So you see how it says grid, and just click the little arrow, and then there's a tile map. Okay. Rename this tile map as ground. Okay. And then add a component and look for tile. Map Collider 2D. Once you put it, there's going to be a bunch of uh, green boxes that are going to appear. 
and that's perfect. All you need to do is now press play. And now your character is able to uh, walk and jump on your uh, objects. Um, OK. So uh, to fix this problem where uh, you know your, your player falls down, click on player. And it's the click on constraints, and then freeze the, the Z axis on rotation. So now that should that should work better. Okay. I'm gonna move this. If you need to move something in your um, your tile palette, again, all you need to do is click on tile palette, click on the move tool, or I guess select, I guess. Select first, you select your object and then move it like I did. I want to move this up just a bit more. And then I want to move this also. Oh, Actually, I'm going to delete this. Okay. And then, uh, yeah. Oh, I don't think I have a thing here. So let me continue editing this. Uh, what do you mean stay on the tiles? I don't know. Um, it's not falling down for me, too. Like Did you... Fall. Is it still falling? Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you click on what is ground and, did you, and you click on everything? Oh. So one of the options on player movement is uh, what is ground. Make sure you put everything. OK. Wait, player movement or player picking Um, hold on. Uh, it's, so false. it's a character controller. On character controller, it says what is ground. Click on everything. Uh, Adrian, make sure you have your ground check and ceiling check. Um, I do. Okay, um, let me check. Uh, can you share your screen? Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, um, so yeah, scroll down, uh, ground check, seating check, okay. I click on air air control. Air control? Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now click on tile map on the on the left hand side. Uh huh. And I uh, see you don't have a box, a collider. So add component and then type in a tile map collider. Tile map? Yeah, it's right there. Tile map collider 2D. Yep, there you go. Now it should work. Press play. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> okay. What about you, Parashar? Does it work? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I moved my camera to the player and everything, but it still shows the. It still shows it as the middle of the scene. Uh. Oh, okay. The reason why that happens is because um, <clears throat> you see how your camera is not centered right now at your player. So center it. Uh, click on your main camera. Mm -hmm. Go to inspector. And then your X and Y should be 0 on your transform. Your X should be 0 on the position. No, 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 that's scale. Yeah, position, that should be 0. And your Y should be 0. And see how your camera just snapped to your player? Because oh. now it's falling wherever your player is. Okay, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, okay, now, now it should work. Okay, it still falls down. Okay, stop playing. Um, click on your tile map on the left, top left. I mean, not on top left, sorry, on the left. Yeah, uh, click on inspector. Okay, um, so why is there two tile maps now? Um, delete the other one. You don't need the other one, yeah. Right click, delete. Oh, I guess that was your act. Okay, uh, undo uh, and delete the other one. Okay, so this one, click on that, that tile map. 
Okay, we're going to click on Add Component. And then Tom Map Collider 2D. Uh-huh. Perfect. Now press play and it should uh it should work. What the nice. <laughs> so just on your rigid body, just select uh restrict the <laughs> <laughs> restrict your movement on the X. On the on the uh, yeah, on the X uh, rotation. So click on your player. I'm gonna click on your player. Mm -hmm. And uh, scroll down, and you see how it says constraint on a rigid body. Uh, you went to 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 low. Go up, yeah. And your rigid body two D. It says constraint, and a check mark on freeze rotation. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Now you're not. Uh, now it shouldn't you know, tumble. Uh -huh. and you for space to jump. All right. Uh -huh. You can press space bar to jump. Oh, okay. You can't jump. <laughs> nice. What? Yeah, I can't move. Oh, you can't jump or you can't move? No, I can only move. I mean, I, I can only move in these two spaces. OK, well, the reason why, because that's an edge, and you can't climb edges. Uh, so stop stop playing. You have, oh, you can't? Just move up. Move well, up. yeah, you can. Um, I'll show you how to move up and edges. Um, just hold on. Let me, uh, let me just uh, see something. Can you click on ground check on your square? Yeah, your ground check is not in the right position. It's on top of your player. So, yeah, oh, click on the icon. Again. Okay. Yeah, click on an icon, whichever icon. And you'll see, you see how ground check is up here. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so that means that, like, wait, so why doesn't it work then again? Uh, because it, your ground your ground check never touches the floor. So then uh, you, you can't jump anymore. You can't jump. Oh, so it only works. Okay, yeah, it just can't work in midair, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that should be right. Yeah, that should be right. Yeah, but you still can't go up edges. But now you can jump, I think. No, I still can't jump. Okay, um, stop playing. Uh, okay. Zoom in more. Your ground check is not near your uh, the feet. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So now, um, if you okay, now if you want to climb edges, um, so take a look at uh, this one. So now, if you want to climb edges, uh, what you want to do is let's see. Yeah, what you want to do is uh, you want to add two different colliders because you only have a box slider. Box sliders work well, but only work uh, for the top. So what you're going to do is, um, I don't know if you can see it on my screen, but there's this like, very slight green uh, on the edge. Um, just click on Edit Collider on that box slider, and this little handles come up. Just click on this and just put it like midway, somewhere around here. Okay, And then the bottom half, now there's going to be a circle. So we're going to click on Add Component. I'm going to add a circle collider. And this circle collider, just click on Edit Collider and just bring this handle down somewhere around here. Make sure they don't collide. Okay, So it's basically a circle here and then a square on the top. Once you have that, just press Play. And now you should be go, uh, able to go up uh, edges. OK? And the reason why is because you don't have that jagged edge uh, you know, um, pushing that they won't allow you to go up edges. But now you're able to go up edges, and uh, yeah, it looks a little better. Okay. How do you change rigid body? Uh, how do you change rigid bodies? What do you mean? I mean, like, the how do you make it smaller? Oh, you mean the box collider? Yeah, the box collider. The box collider, just click on Edit Collider right here. 
edit the library. Okay. Uh-huh. And then uh, you'll see little handles. Those little handles are little like green boxes. Just click and drag it, uh, and then it'll resize your um, your box. Yeah, then I have to add a circle or something, right? Yeah, then you have to add a circle collider in the same object on the same player. Wait, empty then or no 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 on the same player. On the player, just add another component. Let me see your stuff. Uh, no no no. <laughs> on the right hand side. Uh, scroll down. Yeah, did you edit your collider? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And sc keep scrolling down and then add component. And look for circle collider. Mm -hmm. What is that thing? Uh, this is a, just another type of collider. So just click on uh, edit collider. No, no, no. Just undo. Yeah. Click on edit collider on the bottom one, on the circle collider. Yeah, now you can edit it. So no, don't, don't, don't click on that one. It's the top one. Oh, okay, okay. So under, yeah, the top one. Uh -huh. Somewhere around, yeah, somewhere around like that. Uh -huh. Wait, so this, what does this let it do? So these are two different colliders. The first one is a box collider. So uh, it's like a box, so anything that you know is inside the box, it detects the collision. The circle collider is the same, it's just in a circular uh, uh, shape. So so now, like, because it's there, it can't hit that? Um, no, because you see how the edge of the of the box, like the bottom left, if that edge hits in, um, like in real life, if that edge hits some sort of uh, slope, uh, you know, you're not able to go up, right? But if now you have a circular thing, like a wheel, if the wheel hits some sort of slope, it's able to climb up. So press play and you should be able to see that. So the bottom is now acting like some sort of wheel. Uh, when it detects uh, some sort of slope, now it's able to climb that slope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see? Okay, so how do you make it like, not how do you make it just go flat uh, what do you mean flat like when it's going up ramps like how do you make it just like it's going sideways i mean it's going like it's not it's not going the like the bottom of it's not staying on the ramp it's just oh uh, <laughs> okay um so for that you need a precise um it's it's gonna be a little bit harder. So check out my screen um, to do that. Uh, this is how you do it. Okay. Um, you will need I th yeah you will need two colliders. Uh, the first one let's see this one. You just make it like super small, and then move it. Oops. And you can move it. Okay. It doesn't want to move. It's moving on the X from around here. Oh, so then it can like yeah. spin, kind of. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. So then you, I'm just gonna copy. Oh, okay, okay. Paste another okay. one. Paste this new. So I have two circles. Oops. like this so that's like mm, maybe a little bit more but then this collider is just gonna it's not gonna well you're gonna see a little bit a difference if i go all the way down here i press play and that should help out see that that should help out a little bit so now you're on the edge is that what you're looking for yeah yeah i think so yeah let me just try it and let me try it. yeah that's getting super precise uh, for now because these characters aren't like this. These characters are, um, you know, if you have a character, so yeah. let's see, like, um, to the sprite sheet, something like this. Um, oops. Um, so I picked out a grandma. Okay. Um, okay. Let's take a look at this guy. Yeah, so if I take a look at this guy, you see how this guy is not a square box. This guy is more of like a circular thing. So whenever yeah. you cut this sprite out, um, it it already fixes the problem by putting a small circle. You're not able. You're not even going to see it. Um, yeah. But okay. but with this one, because we have a square, you're mm -hmm. you're able to see that edge. You know, edge collision. And, okay. And, yeah. 
but that's the one way of fixing uh, this problem on, on the, uh, this project. Okay, and then um, if you want, like, uh, and Adrian, if you want your camera to follow where your player is going, let's just say your map is big, uh, you want your camera to follow. So just like Parash did, Parash did, <clears throat> just click on main camera, click and drag your camera into player. Okay. Once that camera is inside the player, so you know, and I click this, and then uh, click on that, the main pl the camera is now there. Um, click on your position. It says uh, X position, make it zero. And any Y position, make it zero. So now it should be centered. So now when you press play, wherever you move, that's where your camera is now moving. Okay. You can go like that, jump, and things like that. Okay. Okay. So, um, let's see. What else say? um, now uh, also with your slopes, uh, your jumping is not going to work that much. Uh, reason why, because, um, the box, the, the collision box, it's like around here. And when you're on the edge, because there's only this part that is touching, um, this part that is touching, um, it's not, uh, it's not able to detect that. Okay. Um, and then the last thing uh, that you guys can do, um, you guys can do that by yourself. So there's a tutorial how to do that. Um, <clears throat> it's using, uh, where is it? Do I have it here? Um, What? Uh, hold on. Let me see. Where is it? I think I have it in my history. It's a. It's a Git. A GitHub repository. Mm. Uh, hold on, let me see my history. I have it here. Ah, it's right here. Okay, um, so this one, it's by Unity. It's uh, it's their own thing. So if you want to see it, I, I can quickly do it. Um, so here I can just uh, download the zip. So you guys, what you guys can do is just look for uh, Unity. Uh, it's called, what is it called? Uh, 2D Extras. So you can just uh, look for that and just make sure it's a, a GitHub. If not, you can just get it off of my screen right now, just github.com slash Unity Technology slash 2D Extras. Uh, and then in this one, um, it gives you a um, um, a controller that uh, you can easily um, change your. Remember the thing I was talking about that you can just use your paintbrush and it automatically moves everything according to rules. So you can just click and drag this and put it inside, uh, and it's going to build everything. Uh, once I have that, it should already. Okay, so it looks like uh, this is the reason why it's not on 2019. Okay, it looks like it's out of, uh, out of. Um, yeah, you need to fix some scripts. Oh so, uh, yeah, so I'll actually, you know what? I'll I'll try to fix it, and then I can show you guys how to do it later. Um, Fernando, the 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 square still doesn't tilt. It still just goes on one side. Does it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see your screen. I think, am I still sharing? Yeah. Okay, uh, let me see what you have. Uh, okay, press play. Mm, what do you mean tilting? I don't understand what's the tilting. Like, some of the spray, it should, like, align with it. Like, it can, you press pa can you press pause? Uh, okay, and no, no, not play. Uh, press pause. So play again. Go to the edge. Um, so like when it, 
like when it should when it goes up there, it should go like this. Okay. Hmm. Like that. Uh, like it should okay, go like that. So, okay, so with that, um, that's more, um, what is that called? Uh, that's that's part of an animation. It's not it's not real, um, yeah, because that's just gonna mess up the physics. Uh, so oh, okay. basically, what you want to do is this. Um, uh, oh no, you need a collider for these edges. That's actually a little bit different. Um, you would have to put a collider. The easiest way I can think of right now is putting a uh, a collider here. Um, or do, doing some sort of edge detection. Once it detects the edge, um, what you want to do is, um, you know, move your character uh, or flip your character like this. But if you yeah. flip your character like this, you see how all the um, uh, all the um, all the physics will start getting. Let me see if I press play. All the physics will start getting yeah whacked. Now if I go like this, just to go like that. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so it's gonna it's gonna be weird. So what you're doing is you're just looking at um, um, a uh, it's just a, it's just going to be a trick. Basically, your player is just gonna rotate. It's just your image here that's just gonna rotate, and that that's it. It's the, your um, your physics are gonna stay exactly the same. Yeah. They're not. They're not. They shouldn't be moving. No, I, I know it's a little it's a little weird to understand, but um. Uh, with game making, and most of it is just tricks. It's just your sprite that's moving or doing some sort of animation, but your um, your physics aren't really doing it. Uh, if you do all that calculation, then your computer's just most likely gonna burn up because that's a lot of calculation. Um, so what people do is just uh, make an animation that looks like you're climbing or looks like you're walking, but you're not walking. Uh, you'll see that with 3D. Uh, next week we're gonna move on to 3D. Uh, 3D objects, and then we're gonna make basic animation. All we're doing is literally just making up a, a cylinder or a, sorry, a capsule move around, and then we're just adding animation. So the walking happens, but there's no such thing as like walking. There's no walking force. It's just an object moving, and then the thing just like moving where the other uh, where where the object is. So you'll see that with, with 3D. Okay, so is that like really complicated then to make? Uh, no, it's not. It's not that complicated. Like I said, you can we can add a uh, a box slider here. And whenever it detects that box slider, it's just gonna rotate that much, uh, or you can have a different animation for climbing up, uh, you know, slopes. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes when you make a game. Uh, there's a lot of like magic going. It's like I don't know if you ever taken a, a class about movies, uh, where they show you the uh, the art of you know making movies where <laughs> it's not real. What what they're doing is just like you know they trick you into seeing what they want you to see. I don't know if I'm making sense anymore. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that, that's what happens when you make games. OK, uh, so yeah, so this is it for the basic um, power map stuff. Um, yeah, and then from here, you guys can uh, make other other things. Uh, so for example, if I have, I'm just going to quickly, no, I, I don't have a power map for that. Let's see, do I have? OK, um, so what you guys can do is something like this. Um, Let's, I'm going to grab Tundra, where this is the snow. And I'm going to do exactly what I did with the other one. So I'm going to click on multiple. This is going to be 70, sprite editor, um, slice, uh, grid by size, 70 by 70. OK, so now I have two maps. And what I'm going to do, the whole purpose of this is to have two different tile maps. So here on my grid, I can right click, create a 2D object, and create another tile map. Okay, and then this one's going to be called tile map. Uh, here I can call this uh, snow, or yes, yeah, snow, whatever. It's fine. Snow is fine. And now on my tile palette, now there's we need to create a new palette. So here I'm going to click on. Uh, I'm just going to make it a snow palette. Oops. I'm just going to create snow. No. Okay. And then um, just like the other one, we're going to create a uh, tile maps and. Uh, Maps and, uh, and call it maps and select folder and then just click and drag this inside. Um, and 
dump everything in there. And we're good. Okay, so once we have that, uh, now we have two layers. Okay, the first one is called ground, and this is just the basic ground stuff. And here I have a snow layer. So with this one, what you can do is you can change the physics property of this object. So for example, let's just say I want to make, a, I, mean, I want to click on this one. Make sure the active tile map is called, called snow. So I'm going to click on this. I'm just going to replace it with, I can barely see this. Is it this one? Yeah, okay. So that, like that, let's just say I want this one. Um, and then for my uh, ground, I'm going to delete my old one. Oh, sorry. Click on ground, delete that one. So now the ground one is deleted. So I should have done that first. I should have deleted first. And now I click on snow, and then I create my, uh, my uh, snow object. So no, <clears throat> now what is going to happen is this one. And here I'm going to add a tile map collider. So same thing I did. But now I can, all, I can change the material. So here there's no material. Um, this, is, uh, this is default. So here I can make a material. So I can right click here, create, and then go to um, physics material 2D, and then call it slippery. OK, and then here I can change. Here it says friction, and it says 0.4. I can change it to 0. So now there's no friction. So basically, every, you stand on it, and you're going to slowly slide um, you know, like, like snow. So here, uh, I'm going to click on snow, click and drag slippery into my physics uh, material. And now this object is now slippery. So now let me bring this object down just a bit so uh, we can test it out, because I don't think I can reach up there. Uh, let's see. I'll select this, and then move it. Um, let's move it to here so we can see it. OK, so now I'm going to press play. And now this object, here, these objects here, there's no, uh, there's no physics. Uh, OK, I can't even reach up there. Yeah, stuff up there. OK, and now when I reach here, now this object has a, uh, well, I'm not slipping. I'm not slipping. Um, I think it's because of my, my force is just going down instead of slipping. So you can see this effect with the, with the square. I mean, with the, let's see. I'm just going to create a simple circle and call this ball. And I have two balls, one here and one there. And then these two balls are going to have exactly the same thing. So I'm going to click on one ball, second ball, put a circle collider on them, the rigid body. TV. And now when I press play, now you should be able to see the, so, I can't see the camera. Okay, I press play. You can see like the ball, this ball, you see how it's slippery? It's, it's not slippery, it's slippery. It's slippery, that's why it's sliding. Well, this ball, um, there's no physics collider. So, um, oh, now it's not slippery. Now it's not sliding. We are lazy, but no, but I think you're right. You could use like that one is not use like the curved one, the the, the yeah. Curve. I kind of just use the slip a uh, slide, uh, you know, an edge because it's you can't technically uh, slide on this one. On it. Or actually, you're, let me see if I can move this quickly. Uh, let's see. Select. I'm gonna put this inside here. Oops. Okay, let me see how that works. Okay, and then compare to. Yeah, but here, this is the same thing. It's the same thing. Can I go here? And we have the switch here, we have this in between. That's why you're going Yeah, well, well. Well, you can't. The, I don't know if you guys can see the difference uh, on both of them. <clears throat> it's like, uh, I know they're not starting at the same position, but uh, you can see that this one slows down just a bit more uh, because there's more friction. So actually, let me put it down just a little bit more like this, so there's less difference. Yeah, you see how this one is more of it's like sliding. Well, this one, uh, you, I don't know if you can see it, but in my screen, you can see it. 
Where this one is, it, oh, this one is more slippery. While this one, uh, there's less slipperiness. Ness, ness. <laughs> or uh, you know what? Actually, a better one you can see is if this is down. Sure. So if I put this I guess, on this, like five, it can now have a bouncy effect. Bouncy. Yeah. Well, now it's too much. <laughs> uh, let's do one or point eight actually. Let's see how that works. Yeah. So you see how you can have different, uh, ob um, different uh, it's physics settings. You see how this one doesn't bounce and this one does bounce. Yeah, with slipperiness, it's really hard to see it. But with bounciness, I think you guys can see it. But yeah, so that's that's it. <laughs> that's what the physics, uh, the physics uh, setting, um, physics material. And you guys can work work with different things like. Uh, the other colliders we were talking about, like water, you guys want to have water and like put water in there. That works. Uh, you want to have moving platforms. You can put the moving platforms. The script is here uh, to move two things. You can jump on it, and you can jump from one to uh, one object to another. Uh, again, the the possibilities are endless. Okay. Uh, do you guys have any questions about this? I hopefully that this news made sense. Do um, you have any questions, Adrian? Do you have any questions, Parashar? If I made my sprite a circle, would that like solve the weird, the 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 rim problem? Uh, yeah, sure. You can make it into a circle. I mean, uh, let's see, sprite circle. Um, your player just change it to <laughs> mine's a circular player. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, I mean, it'll kind of work. No, I mean, it's still going to, it's still going to be, you know, uh, upright. I think if you remove the, <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, yeah, I think the best thing you can do is just add a, some sort of animation to it and that'll look like you're climbing up uh, the hill. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, so if there's no questions, uh, thanks, guys. Um, so next time, uh, tomorrow, I, I think we're working on what are we working on tomorrow? Okay. We're working on uh, triggers and events. So we'll, actually, we're, we'll, we'll be finishing up this 2D stuff tomorrow. Uh, we'll be um, working with the tiles making a small map, collecting stuff, and then making it into it. So basically, we're making a small platform game tomorrow. Yeah. How far we get. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for coming. And then that's it for today. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. See you guys.